Hello friends. In this video we are going to discuss about car AC and mainly we are going to discuss two things. One is the impact of car AC on the fuel economy, the car mileage, okay? And the second thing is I'm going to give you very important tips for the efficient usage of car AC. So let's start. Let me quickly show you the controls. See, these are the AC vents from where the air is thrown and these are the top part. This is the suction point. Now these are the main controls. Let's see this one first. So this one is to define the air circulation. Right now it is set here. That means the inside air is circulated. The air will be sucked from these points and then cooled and thrown from these vents. Okay. When you bring this knob here, that means the outside air will be sucked and then cooled and thrown from these vents. Okay. Now this is to set the temperature. The blue line is the AC and the red line is the heater. Okay. When you want maximum cooling then it should be at this point. When you want less cooling then you can increase the temperature okay when you want the heater then you can bring it on the red side okay now this knob is to define whether you want air only on the upper body or upper body plus the lower body so there are ac vents beneath the dashboard also okay are only on the lower body or you want air on the lower body plus on the windscreen so there are ac vents there also at the corner where this windscreen and the dashboard join okay and the last one is when you want air only on those vents Okay now let's see the last one see this one has a rotary control plus the push button so the rotary control is for the fan speed you can adjust the fan speed and this one is to switch on and switch off the ac okay so this is all about the control now let's move to the main video okay now let's discuss about the impact on the mileage because of the ac see if you are running your car with ac on then your mileage will decrease by 1 to 2 km per liter as compared to running without ac See if you are already having a car then you might have already observed that whenever you switch on the AC then the pickup of the car reduces and also you feel the load on the car See in my car I don't have the tachometer the engine rpm meter in your case if you have the tachometer then you can see the impact of AC on the car engine as soon as you turn on the AC then the engine rpm will increase okay if you carefully observe then you will see that the engine rpm increases by 200 to 500 okay which is a significant jump on the engine load see when you turn on the ac mainly two things happen one is the compressor so there is a compressor machine in most car it's 12 volt so that compressor turns on okay that consumes lot of power and then the second thing is the exhaust fan so there is a high capacity exhaust fan which starts running when you turn on the ac and then there is a third thing the evaporator coil that doesn't take much power so we can rule out that but the compressor and the exhaust fan these are the two things which take maximum of the power okay so in short when you turn on the ac you will see a drop of at least 1 to 2 km per liter on the fuel economy okay now let's jump to the second topic the efficient usage of the car ac okay the very first thing is see whenever you turn on the car make sure your ac is not running okay see when you turn on the car if your ac is also running then the load on the engine will be much higher and you can damage your engine see what happens when you turn on the car engine takes few minutes to warm up okay and also the oil circulation takes a minute or two so make sure you don't turn on the ac immediately let the car warm up and then you can turn on the ac it will increase the life of your engine okay Okay second thing is about this knob see try to set this knob on this setting so that the internal air is circulated again and again okay see if you are keeping the knob at this side then then the outside air will be sucked okay and if it is hot outside then the ac has to work more to cool down the air but if you are setting here then it is very easy for ac to cool down because the air is already cool okay whenever you want the fresh air you can roll down the window okay for a minute or two and that is sufficient to allow the fresh air to come inside okay so rolling down window for a minute or two is much better option than switching the knob to this side okay okay third this is only an information see remember that ac never works unless you turn on the engine so when your engine is off you can use the fan the fan runs okay because that doesn't require much capacity so the fan runs on the battery but if you want to use the ac then make sure your engine is running okay for example let's say if you are parking your car at some point and your family is sitting inside and if you want the ac to run then make sure your engine is also running otherwise the ac doesn't function only the fan works okay now the fourth thing is see there are filters behind these ac vents those filters will hold all the dust and make sure only the pure air come inside okay 
but what happens over the period of time the dust deposits on those filters and that dust reduces the cooling and the air throw of the vent okay so make sure that you keep replacing or cleaning those filters on the yearly basis okay now the fifth and the last tip is about the car refrigerant see you need to make sure that the refrigerant is sufficient the pressure of the refrigerant the running pressure and the still pressure are sufficient okay see in india usually there are two type of refrigerant which are used one is r12 and another is r143a okay so depending on the refrigerant and also depending on the car ac capacity the pressure differs so so whenever you go for the service ask them to check the refrigerant pressure also and make sure you keep doing the top up see the low refrigerant pressure is the biggest reason that the ac cooling capacity reduces you don't get the cool air okay so you can see this knob the h written on it okay see this is the point which is used to measure the refrigerant pressure let me show you see don't insert the hand when the engine is already running make sure that the engine is not running so this is the knob so you can see the pressure you can see the noise okay so whenever you go for checking the pressure they will put a meter here and then with that meter they will find out the pressure see when the car is not running then the pressure is usually very high because the refrigerant is not moving but when the car is already running and the ac is also running at that time the pressure reduces so there are two pressures one is a running pressure one is a still pressure so they should be in the range so whenever you go for the service ask them to check the refrigerant pressure this is the biggest reason why the cooling reduces okay